at the top of the hour. Harvey Weinstein's sex crimes conviction here in New York has been overturned. These cases are important because they, we think of them as part of the Me Too movement, or may have started a lot mm -hmm. of questions surrounding the decision as we just start to get this information in today. So we are joined by ABC News contributor and former NYPD chief of detectives, Bob Boyce. Bob, thank you so much for joining us. Mike, you covered this, so why don't you start us off? Set in the trial for weeks and weeks, was there on the verdict day. And Chief, you know, I got to ask you because we were all sort of looking around as there were a list of people that were brought before the jury that were not involved in the three particular victims in this case. You've worked on investigations dealing with Mr. Weinstein in your years with the NYPD. How does this news sit with you today? It's a tough day for the victims of this crime. It's, it's not about them. It's about the strategy of the prosecutor. They were credible, they were believable by the, by the jury, and that's how we went. It's the fact that uh, the prosecutor brought on other uh, people to testify against Mr. Weinstein to show his bad behavior, a pattern, and they were not charged in that. So this is the issue here. It's not these, uh, these victims, and I feel really bad for them because Mr. Bragg has already said he's going to retry. So that's important, but they'll have to go through this all again, Mike, and that's terrible. Yeah, and I know Charlene and Sam have some questions too, but it's important for our viewers to remember that following the case here in New York, Mr. Weinstein was convicted in 2022 for raping a woman in Beverly Hills, and he was sentenced mm -hmm. to 16 years in prison, currently being held in upstate New York as he awaits. So he's not getting out of jail. No, and so that's an important reminder here. But this case, as you mentioned, it really did spark the it, Me Too it movement. It did. It was a landmark decision, um, and, it, and you said it right off the bat that it shouldn't be a reflection on the survivors at all and you do and you said it right there you feel bad for them but what kind of message that is the concern the message that this could put out there to maybe future victims um, and survivors out there are you concerned about that at all Charlene I am but this happened in the Cosby case as well mm -hmm. so this is, this is not going to hold water for the next prosecution on these things so that's where we're going to go forward. I thought there was plenty of, of, of evidence in this case that Mr. Mr. Vance could have presented, but he went into this strategy, which is up to him, by the way. So this, the, he can, Mr. Bragg, Alvin Bragg can retry this and do a different job here. And so go forward. So it's just another setback. Sam, you're exactly right. This is a foundational case that changed everything. The power, you know, powerful people were moved from offices who shouldn't have had it, who abused women. So these these courageous ladies, they're going to go. I'm, I'm I'm behind them a thousand percent. This was a big part of my life when I was chief, mm -hmm. and I want to see this retried. Amazing. It Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to ask you, Bob, in, in all of the cases that you investigated and in leading us to where we are today and all the cases, do you feel like that we changed behavior that really and truly bringing these cases forward made a difference? I certainly do. And, and we stand, I'm glad to be a part of it, proud to be a part of it. And some of my detectives who I spoke to this morning, uh, they're ready to go. Uh, they're, they're, they're committed, even though they're retired. Uh, they're committed to go forward with this, and I am as well, is that to get this thing done once and for all. And you said it before, he still has 16 years to face in, in California. So he's not getting out of jail. He's in a medium security uh, prison right now in Rome, New York. He'll be held there, hopefully, um, uh, based on this appeal in New York till Mr. Mr. Uh, Bray can, uh, can prosecute him. So we'll go forward. It's just another day. It's a bad day, but not going to deter us from, from really changing the world with this thing, which it did. All right. Chief Boyce, always great to get right. your perspective, and especially on a case so, so intimately aware of uh, here with this Mr. Weinstein situation. Chief, thank you. Thank you. More coverage throughout the day.